Hey y'all, this your girl Tia not gonna be me and today I am in Publix shopping around for me some um some ingredients to put together my dinner tonight. And uh I got plans on making me some uh chicken alfredo. I wanna add me some shrimp to it or something like that, you know. So one of the noodles that, I like the fresh noodles, y'all. The fresh you can come on, I don't wanna be in your way. Okay, the fresh noodles, they um they taste better. They have a fresh of course they have a fresher taste. But Rana is a good pasta to cook with. I tried it one time and I love the taste of it. So I'm looking to see. I also see that Butoni have some um fresh pasta. And uh, I think I might try the Butoni because y'all know oh <laughs> your girl is all about saving a dollar. So we're gonna try that Butoni, I think. And um and see what it tastes like. Can't go wrong by giving it a try. You just gotta give it a try, then you know. Instead of spending, you know, all your money on, you know, expensive stuff, name brand stuff. Sometimes you gotta try the, you know, the other name brand stuff, off brand stuff to see if it's worth buying again. So welcome to my channel. I hope you did, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all ring that over and hit the thumbs up the like button. Y'all let's get the shopping. All right, so I see right here Butani has some fettuccine and some linguine noodles, and they are two fifty. You can save two twenty nine cent. They oh okay, the previous price is two seventy nine, so you can save um twenty nine cent on those noodles. I will be getting me some. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the fettuccine. Do I want fettuccine or linguine? I think I'm. The linguine is a little thinner. I think we're gonna go with the fettuccine. I'm gonna grab me a pack of the fettuccine, but before I get those, I wanna shop around and look at some other stuff and see what I find in here. All right, so the prices on these prepared meals, they got chicken and dumplings, $26.99, $31.99, meal kits, meal kits. Look at these prices. Look at these prices for this. Just cause it's already put together for you. Just because, look at that. Pork loin wrapped in bacon, $11.11, and it ain't no bigger than that. Y'all better stop being spoiled. I'm telling you, spoiled ain't gonna get you nowhere. Look at that. A little cup size of greens, a little cup size of macaroni, a little piece of honey dead piece of chicken. Oh, that's pulled pork. A little scoop of that and some barbecue sauce for $7.99? No way. If you a ricotta lover, Publix have some ricotta on sale for two for six dollars. Um, you know, I know people like, um, it's, no. <laughs> I'm talking about ricotta, y'all. I'm thinking about the cottage cheese. Let's see if they got the cottage cheese over here. Uh, no, the cottage cheese ain't over here. It's just ricotta. Okay, but anyway, if you're gonna make your lasagna, listen, I know somebody that watch that watch me that make lasagna all the time. If you use ricotta, they got Publix got ricotta on sale two for six dollars. Two for six dollars is three dollars a container. Um, I don't know how it is in your area, but that's a good deal if you must shop in Publix for your groceries. Because look at this one. The Publix brand ricotta is $3.39. So you might as well get that deal. I'm quite sure if you can only buy one for $3. Excuse me, I have a question. You work for Publix? Yep. Okay. They got this here, um, ricotta two for $6. Uh -huh. If I only get one, is it $3? Yes. Okay, all right. So any deals that's two for something, you can still get just yeah, that one? Yeah, it's just another way of telling you that you okay. know, it's two for three or okay. whatever. Like if it's 10 for 10, yeah. each one's gonna be a dollar. The dollar, okay, all right, okay, thank you. All right, so y'all saw what I just did, right? So that's what you do when you have when you need to know what's what. You gotta ask questions to know how to get your deals and the sales and your stuff. You can't be safe, you can't be scared when it comes to saving, saving your dollars. I ain't scared, I'm gonna ask questions. As I was saying, that's a good deal if you got a shopping Publix. Three dollars for one, two for one ricotta compared to a Publix brand ricotta for three thirty nine. Three thirty nine. Publix also has um, Sargent, Sargento, Sargento 
cheese on sale. You get two packs for th uh, six dollars. That's three dollars and some a pack. I think that's a little cheaper than Walmart as well. For they uh, compared to what Walmart give you, I think Walmart cheese is almost about three dollars a pack for the Walmart brand cheese. But you get some Sargenta, Sargento. Why are you saying Sargenta? Sargento cheese, which is normally priced at five dollars. They have them on two for six. You get three dollars a bag for some Sargento cheese, okay? Get the deals, get the deals. And you don't have to get two, you get one if you must. All right, $3 a bag for some cheese. And look at the Publix brand. Publix brand have cheese. Ain't the good, ain't, ain't all so good, but it's good if you gotta get it. For $3.19, why not spend them $3 for a bag of cheese? They have the, um, Mexican cheese, sharp cheddar, Parmesan. I think it's all their cheese. Yeah, it's for all the cheese. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Mm. So Sargento also have their block cheese on sale. Two for six dollars. Now, I know, and some of you may know, it's better to shred your own cheese, even though it's two for six dollars and this is already shredded for you. But the melt that you would get from a block of cheese ain't the same melt that you would get from a bag of cheese. And this is the same eight ounce um, packet block of cheese. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one, the Parmesan is only five ounces. The mozzarella and provolone is eight ounces. Okay, so you gotta pay attention to the packages because looks like they're not all the same. Look at the Swiss, five ounces. Anti who, the anti who, shred your own cheese and you will get a better milk. Two for six dollars for the cheese. Compared to the Publix brand cheese for three ninety nine. I always shop deals. I always shop a sale, but when you shop a sale, make sure that you pay attention to the um, store brand and see if you're getting a good deal. You know, if you know that you, you normally buy store brand and the store brand is good, then make sure you pay attention to the store brand to see if you're, getting a, if you're really getting a good deal by buying the name brand on the sales that they have, okay? So Publix, they have them some sweet cream butter and unsalted. They butter is on sale. You're saving 80 cent this week. $4.79 is the normal price for the butter, but you're spending $3.99. So you're saving 80 cent for the four 16 ounce um, thing of butter. I think I, I said four 16 ounces, but it's the four quarters. A butter. I don't know how many ounces each one is, but y'all know the little sticks. Try the four sticks of butter. So I can I see that I, you can get some deals in Publix. You just really have to pay attention to the prices and know your sales and know the stores and the prices in other stores. Y'all know I'm a budget shopper. I know my prices. I know my prices at Walmart. I know my prices, you know, and I thank God that I'm a budget shopper and not just a, a pick up anything and go type of shopper. You know, you got to get a deal. You got to stretch them dollars, especially when you ain't got it like that. Let's check out these eggs over here. All right, so if you was an egg lover and, or you need to stretch your dollars and get you a deal on some eggs, um, and you're not a particular type of egg person, I'm definitely not a particular egg person because I can't see myself spending all that money for some eggs. Like, these eggs is too expensive. Let me show you. You got some Eggland's Best. 18 count eggs for $6.69. 18 for $8.29 for the Green Wise. The Green Wise, $8.29. Brown eggs. Brown eggs, brown eggs, brown eggs. Brown eggs. I don't know the difference between a brown egg and, and a white egg. You get 12 eggs here for 505. You saving a dollar on these eggs here. Um, but me personally, I go for these eggs down here. Now, if you go and buy you some eggs and you need some eggs and you be like, hmm, 
They got 12 eggs for $2. Okay, that's a good deal. Let me go on and snag them eggs up, but I need me two of them. It's going to be $4. $4 is going to be cheaper for 20, uh, what it is, 12, 12, 24, 24 eggs. $4? No. For 24 eggs? No. You might as well spend $4.74 for 30 count eggs to cart him and save a little money, you know, by getting more. But you're spending, what, a couple cent more? You got to look at the prices. That's what, $4 for 24 No, I think I'd rather have the 30 for 4 74 So I'm standing here and I'm looking at the milk and stuff. I see they got some milk on sale. If you like coconut and almond and oak milk and, you know, those kind of milks. I buy the almond milk because regular milk just ain't good for my stomach. Let's see about the regular milk. The regular milk, they a little pricey. You getting spending about three fifty four for a half gallon and four fifty nine, four sixty, almost five dollars for a whole gallon of milk, and that's with the fat free milk, low fat milk. Um, the whole milk is the same price. The whole milk the same price, which is kind of pricey, kind of pricey for milk. What I found is. Using the almond milk, um, the lactose milk, the lactose milk, um, let's see, even in the car now, 431 for the green wise, whole milk, lactose 549. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper for me to get almond milk. I don't buy the lactose milk. I know the um, lactose milk is supposed to be better on your stomach, but especially if you have like the gassy problems and stuff, TMI, but the gassy problems and stuff. But I found that the almond milk does not bother my stomach as far as the gas goes. So I buy the almond milk. But one thing that I found out about the almond milk is that the expiration date is longer than the regular whole milks and stuff like that. I don't know why that is, but it lasts way lot longer with, you know, um, before it expires. So, Silk has some soy milk, almond milk, oat milk, cashew milk on sale for two for six dollars. Two for six dollars. Like I said, you can get you one of them for three dollars. One for three dollars, but down here, Publix brand also have theirs two for six dollars. Go with the name brand. It's on sale. Why not get it? Why get Publix brand? Well, you could just go ahead on and get the name brand for two for three dollars. The normal price of it is five thirty nine and four eleven and five eight four eighty nine for the Silk brand milk and Walmart. Oh, and Publix brand is for 69 on the price? They tripping. You might as well spend 20 more cent. 20 more cent. 489, there's 469. 411. 469. 411. Any day. On the regular. For the silk. 469 on the regular for the Publix. Nah. Nah, bro, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Uh-uh. All right. I'm showing y'all the deals. Y'all better take notes. All right, y'all. So we over here where the bacon is at. <laughs> we over here where the bacon is at. And Oscar Maya have a buy two, get one free on the bacon. The normal price, no, the price of the bacon is $9.89. That's about, you might as well say $20 for two packs of bacon. And then you're going to get one free. Ooh, y'all. Okay, let's see. $9.89, $20, get one free. Get you three packs of bacon for $20. 4, 8, 12. Hmm. 8, 16, 24. If you was to get 
the off-brand bacon. Sixteen twenty-four dollars and by uh, uh, twenty-seven plus tax. Twenty-seven plus tax. If you had to go this way, I'm guessing it'll be a better deal. But uh, me personally, it, it ain't no deal for me, honey. Go to Walmart. I'm just saying. All right. So then they got them some Applegate Naturals bacon here, two for nine dollars. Normal price six ninety-seven ninety-five. For what? One, two, three, four, five. Look like I see about six. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six, seven pieces in there. Two for nine dollars. Bacon is a little pricey. Bacon is a little pricey nowadays. I think you gotta just try to find the best deal you can find on bacon because those deals over there. Oh, it ain't too good if you ask me. If if you ask me. But hey, I'm a buzzer. It's up to you. Alrighty, y'all. So I know paper products is very important. We need some tissue to wipe out our heinies and the uh, paper towels that y'all must have. We must have. We must have. So let's see what they got in the paper department. Let's see what these prices looking like. Paper plates too. Paper plates too. Let's see what they got going on over here. I'm over here looking at these here Ziploc bags, trying to determine, hmm, if I had to buy them, is this a good deal? If I had to buy them, is this a good deal? You get 28 Ziploc freezer bags for $11.99. You get two boxes for $11.99. So, um, let's see, uh, $12, um, no. Eleven dollars that buy fifty a box. You saving some. You saving a little bit on that. Seven dollars, five fifty. Saving what? Seven, five fifty, five six. What? How much that is? A dollar and something you saving. Okay, I can't calculate it right now, but you are saving a dollar and something. So five fifty per box for twenty eight of those zip ones. And then let's see. But then when you come down here, you get okay. All right. So you get 32 zip ones for 550. The the little slider, the slider one. You get 32. Look at the look at the numbers, y'all. Pay attention to the numbers. Pay attention to the numbers. Okay. So you get that's the free, but that's the oh okay, that's freezer gallon. Alright, so let me see. Let's see how much the freezer zip is. Uh, that's 28 of them. That's 32 for the zip. Freezer zip. They still, okay, you get 24 of those for, and that's the gallon ones for 550. Okay, that's the freezer zip. And then, I mean, the, I keep saying zip, but freezer slider. 24 the gallon for 550 then you get the um 28 the zip for 550 okay so i think i will have to go with a little bit more for the same price me personally i just have to be a, a zipping something you know all right so then down here you get the storage bags which I will use these too, baby. Okay. And you get 32 for 550. I'm just saying. I'm gonna go with the bang for my buck. That's all I'm trying to tell you. All right, so that's the slide one. Now the zip one, let's see, and that's the gallon. All right, so the gallon one, you get the 38 zip ones for 550. So. Yeah, I will go the cheaper route, y'all. And then let's look at the Publix brand. Let's see if Publix got their own brand here. Quite sure they do. Yeah. So let's see. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna be saving and getting a little bit more because 
$5.99 for only $35 and they was giving you $38. And what this is, this gallon? Nope, that's just quartz. These are quartz. That's quartz. Where are the gallons? That's 28 for $3.99. Okay. Um, thirty-eight for three ninety-nine. Yeah, we might have to go the Publix route because five fifty and three ninety-nine Publix is gonna be the best way to go. And then they also okay. So if you was to have to go the Zip route, then the Ziploc brand would be better because you only get thirty for five ninety-nine, and they give you thirty-eight for five fifty, right? 32 32 for 550 so I mean two more but still you saving because you're still spend, saving 50 cent 50, uh, 49 if you want to be technical but yeah I mean I really don't see too good of deals on you know the plastic spoons and stuff like that 249 hmm for 48 and I guess 139 for 24. I don't really see no deals in, in, in the paper plastic spoons that's jumping out at me. Paper plates, let's see. They got two for six on the small ones. Two for six on, and these are paper plates here. Two for six, so $3 for how many plates that is. 44 count plates, you get $3 for the, spend $3 for those. Normal price four twenty nine. Hmm. Um, as far as the paper products goes in here, I would say that it wouldn't be my choice to shop for paper products. Okay, what these is solo cups. You get twenty four of these cups for six dollars. Three dollars for twenty four. Two for six dollars. Let me see. Yeah, three dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They won't be my choice. Not for the, not for the paper product. Not for the cups nor the spoon. Um, the cups, the spoons, or the plates. All right. Tissue. Tissue. They got the big rolls. Let me see. This is six equals twenty-four. Y'all know I don't like the equal stuff. You know I would like to see my numbers and not you tell me that's what I'm getting. Okay. So they got two for. $12, six rolls for $12. That means um, $6 for um, a pack of six rolls of tissue, which is really, hmm, might be okay deal. If you is the double roll looking type, per shopping type person, because that means that you spend it only a dollar a roll you get six rolls in a pack so that means you're spending only a dollar a roll for the double rolls but six rolls for six dollars two for twelve drop a comment down below and you let me know if that's a good deal for you let me know let me know because i know what i wouldn't do i i if i had to um no no I ain't even gonna lie to you. No. No. I wouldn't. I don't care double or not because like I told y'all, I like to see my see mines. Are you in public shopping? Don't forget to grab the coupons for extra savings. I remember Publix used to have these all over their stores. The little coupon things. Paper towels. Let's see, you get twelve rolls for nineteen. Nope what that is 12 roll for 13.99 um that's still really like they say 12 even 24 13.99 you saving they got a sale on these right here but uh that's like still a dollar a roll you know nope um like i said no for the paper products no none of the paper products honestly like none of them no mm -mm. i don't care how good it, it seems and, and, and it ain't no no and no and no again all right so the prices on the flower i'm just checking like you know the basic stuff that i would go looking for um the flour the cornmeal the all-purpose flour self-rising you know stuff like that 
The flour is $3.79 for the five pound, $5.49 for the Martha White. Um, five fifty nine. Uh, okay, so they got their breadcrumbs on sale for two seventy one. What that is for the four C oh for these here for two seventy one. You saving forty cent on those. Normal price be three dollars and eleven cent. Um, yeah. They're pretty pricey on the flower. If I had to shop here for flower, it will most definitely be um, without sales. It will, I don't know what the sales will look like, but it will most definitely be the Publix brand for my flower. All right, so the seasonings, they pretty pricey. They got two for $6. You can get one for $3, like they were saying. Um, hmm. Let's see. Buy two, get one free at two sixty nine. Let me see. Uh, or two seventy nine. That's two for five, six, five, six, seven. About seven dollars. Um, nah. Buy two, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Hmm. Okay. Maybe so on that. Maybe. Just depends. I don't buy the Weber, but you know. Maybe. All right, let's see. Oh, 50 cent. Well, they got 50 cent on some Morton popcorn salt. All right, so we found us a little something, something up in there. It, oh, okay. You saving? Oh, it was a dollar and 45. All right, 50 cent on that. Okay, so for the Badia, Badia is a good brand of seasoning. So they have the, um, oregano the ground oregano for 119 which is a good deal because walmart has went up on their um seasoning and stuff so and i never had ground oregano neither so i'm quite sure it's way more pungent than the flakes um but for a dollar 19 i would definitely get that body has some steak seasoning on sale and um, it's a Canadian blend. It's a dollar ninety-four. If you like to try different seasonings, I would definitely get that because the normal price for that, and that is a big tube of it. It's a, a six point five ounce of it for a dollar ninety-four, and the normal price is three forty-nine. I would definitely get that. Hmm. The cooking oils they have some Western corn oil. Normal price of it, you save it three dollars seven ninety-nine. Oh uh, yeah. I shop for sales deals. If I had to get some cooking grease out of here, it definitely will be this corn oil for $4.99. You saving $3. $3. Oh yeah. $4.99. And then Eve. Oh, and then it's um a 48 ounce. And compared to getting the Publix brand, $4.99 for the 32 ounce, $5.99 for the peanut oil, 32 ounce. Um Let's see, do they have the corn here? No, oh, that's vegetable oil, it will be $5.19. So that is a good deal for the Western oil for $4.99. Even if you was to get the 64 ounce of vegetable oil, I don't know if y'all a particular oil type of person, I'm a on sale type of person. $8.59 for the 64 ounce of the Great Vat. I mean, not Great Vat, but the um, Publix brand. So yeah, you still saving. Yeah, y'all. Okay, so to me what it looks like when you're shopping for your oil, shop for what you see on sale if you're not a brand person. I mean, uh, um, or if you're not a brand person or a certain type of oil person, whether it's corn, best blend, canola, peanut, low cholesterol, smart balance, you know, vegetable oil, pure, pure vegetable oil, corn oil, you know, that, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. So with the ketchups and stuff like that, same thing, you know. Look for what's on sale. They have what this is. Um, look like an open pit, whoever open pit is. Barbecue sauce, it was $1.19 and regular price was $1.99, but they out of that. So yeah, just find whatever you can find on sale with ketchups and you know all of that right there y'all got that y'all got that they really don't have um any deals on any of that here to 
today. Hey, but hey, they're Hi. Yeah. All right, yourself. Um, they have the mayonnaise here. Four ninety nine for light mayonnaise, Publix brand. Okay, the four ninety nine for that, Publix brand regular mayonnaise, and then you spend at five forty nine for craft mayonnaise when the regular price of the craft was eight dollars. So if you got to have craft, uh, five forty nine is the way to go. Um, you're, you know, five fifty cent more than the Publix brand. But um, me personally, I will go Publix brand. Unless I try and I don't like it, then I will go the Kraft brand. And let's see, the Publix brand, they regular price is $5.89, so you're saving 90 cents here. Some of y'all like Miracle Whip. And oh, Miracle Whip, shoot, there's five, there's $8.49. Say save $3. So yeah, $5.49 for their Miracle Whip. All right, so I'm over here looking at the canned goods. I'm noticing that Campbell's has got a good little deal going on over here for they, they canned goods. Okay, let me show you. All right, so I see that they got these on sale real quick. And I'm going to grab me some of these because y'all know at Walmart, the great value brand of Campbell's is, um, I mean, the great value brand of cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery cream of whatever for the small cans be like a dollar and some change and Publix have these on sale for four for five dollars which means that they are a dollar 25 per can for Campbell's so I will be grabbing me some of these here they got the cream of celery you know stocking up stock up for the holidays while they got the stuff on sale stock up stock up stock up all right they got the cream of mushroom so I'll get me two cream of mushrooms okay this is the regular ones i was grabbing the healthy request but they got the cream of mushrooms they the same thing too it'll tell you not the cream of shrimp or one ton and look at that the, the public's brand is a dollar and 44 a dollar and 20 dollar and 44 for cream of mushroom and cream of chicken dollar 25 baby we saving all right so if you buy chicken broth in the box they got chicken broth buy one get one free the regular price of it is 279 you're gonna buy one you're gonna get one free so yes that's a good deal because Publix brand is 259 and they don't have a sale going on so definitely get your chicken broth i see they got the little raviolis on sale they got four for five dollars which is a dollar and 25 cent a can which is probably a pretty good deal because the Campbell's is 149 and I don't know what Publix have they brand don't looks like it but um a dollar 25 a can is probably pretty good you know yeah unless you want to get them now for 99 it's really like the same price you really ain't saving if you like either one of these brands here you really ain't saving because you're spending a penny more doing it like that you know but you get to mix and match that's the only difference you can mix and match for four for five dollars i did not know that publix had a mini jamaican spice area they got some ocho rios curry powder oh yes but it's 419 the fish fry the scallion allspice, mmm, the jerk seasoning, the chicken seasoning, combo seasoning, and meat steak and stew seasoning, okay? And then they got stuff for like, oh, this rum cake, fruit cake, and all that dark, the little ting -a ling a ling ting -a ling a ling drink, the Jamaican cream soda, macro with and tomato sauce in the can, corned beef by Grace, the crackers okay the wafer oh y'all i did not know they got the ackee and salt water oh that's 11.31 for that can of ackee okay the dried pigeon peas the gungo peas the green pigeon peas okay okay then i got instant ginger and they got other um, sodas here. They got some sushi. Today is Wednesday. I think on every Wednesday they do the sushi for $5. So 
So, oh yeah. Um, they got the California salad roll. I don't know nothing about sushi. They got the shrimp roll, the cream cheese with imitation crab meat, which may not be too bad. Um, I wish I liked sushi or know what sushi to get what this is the crunchy shrimp tempura roll mm. y'all comment down below and let me know what kind of sushi that y'all like i almost got tempted i almost what this is sugar cane oh that's rhubarb i thought i was gonna say we thought that was sugar cane but it's rhubarb that's sugar cane And that sugar cane? It look like sugar. Is that? Y'all comment down below and let me know if rhubarb is sugar cane. Alright, so let's see what they got over here. They got the jackfruits. Alrighty, y'all. So that is it for my shop with me and Publix. I'm about to go over here and get my pasta so I can cook my Alfredo for dinner tonight. I'm gonna grab me some cheese over here since they got it on sale. And um yeah. Yeah. So until the next video, this your girl T and I gonna be me. Y'all be blessed. I hope y'all enjoy this video and I will see y'all in the next one. You know what? I'll see y'all in the next one. Alright. Love y'all. Make sure y'all ring that doorbell. Hit the thumbs up the like button.